What's poppin' everybody? Hee <laughs> hee. There is a bush in my way. Hello, bush. What's poppin' everybody? It is your girl, Dest. And of course, I'm back at it with another video. I'm super excited for today's video because it's a video I haven't filmed in super long, which is a nature sesh. So what's poppin'? Obviously, we are out here today in the nature. It is an amazing day today, honestly. It's not too hot, but it's also not cold. The sun is out, it's bright, it's shining, but it's also not like beaming down on me where I'm just like literally wanting to pass out. So it feels amazing. I wish I would have brought water because I'm super dehydrated, but <laughs> even though I didn't bring water, I was sure to bring my Dutch. Unfortunately, this is not a honey Dutch. I had um, sent somebody to the store and I was like look get me like a couple packs of Dutchess here's some dough and then they came back with chocolate and I told them specifically to get honey or Irish fusion if there was no honey but I guess they didn't have honey or Irish fusion so they pulled up with the chocolate but the chocolate one is the worst one to get you guys never ever smell the chocolate Dutch just don't do it unless if it's the last resort. Today, I did go skating right now. I wanted to do like a skate smoke sesh type of video. I filmed videos like that in the past on my channel, aka literally over a year ago on my channel, where I basically get my skateboard. I'm gonna move a little bit so y'all could see me. Um, I used to have a pimple on my lip and it looks like it's like still there, but it's not. So like, what the fuck? Um, also, I look like shit because <laughs> Like I said, I was just skating, like literally. I'm so thirsty right now, but it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Thirst, the thirst can wait. Um, yeah, I fucking miss my old videos. Like, like it sucks. Like last night before going to bed, I knew that I didn't have specifically anything planned today. I just went to go ship out some merch and like, you know, do a couple errands, but I really don't have nothing planned for the day. So I was like, oh, like I want to film this video. I want to film that video. I've been seeing a lot of comments from you guys telling me that, hey, Dest, um, how did you get rid of your acne? Like, how do you keep your hair healthy? And just like little videos and ideas like that that I really want to film. And then going to sleep last night, I was like, fuck yeah, tomorrow's about to be a good day. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this and that. It's going to make me feel so good inside. I'm going to feel so happy. And then I woke up this morning and this is happening this has been happening every single day almost. I think of amazing things to do. I have like I plan a full day of like full of events and then the day comes, I get ready and I end up just staying in my room the whole day. Literally the whole day. I won't leave my room. And this morning, I could feel that happening. I could feel myself wanting to just online shop for hours, sitting in bed, not ending up buying anything. And it's like I just wasted all that time laying down. Ew. A piece of tobacco went to the back of my throat. But, um... I could feel myself this morning wanting to get like that again, you know, because I don't have my own house. I do have roommates. So when I want to film a video like, oh, how did I get rid of my acne? Like, I want to be sitting in my bedroom showing you guys the products. I don't want to be doing a hot box sesh. I don't want to be doing a nature sesh showing you guys acne products. Like, I want to be in, inside my comfortable home filming videos like that. And sometimes... I will push myself to film those videos in my home or in my bedroom and the video doesn't come out authentic the video doesn't come out me being me it doesn't come out the way that I wanted it to be I could editing the video I could feel my restriction I could feel that there is things that I wanted to say or do or funny jokes that I wanted to laugh about in the video but I felt so hesitant because I know I'm filming in my bedroom and I know all of my roommates are home and I know that all of them could hear me so it sucks like I, I don't want to fake that happiness I don't want to pretend like oh everything's okay look at like what I got for my acne you know like this I got rid of it like no I want to be real with you guys so instead of doing all that I said fuck that destiny bring your camera just in case but if you don't end up filming you don't end up filming but at least you had a good day 
I grabbed my board, hopped into my car, and just drove. I drove here, most random spot I could find, and just started skating. I've been skating for probably like two hours. I've been here for a minute. But I was literally like getting down, I was skating. I was skating so much that like I wasn't afraid, you know? A lot of the time when I'm skating, I'm just cruising. But today, I was like, fuck that. I wanna be a rebellion. Like I just have so much energy in me. It's not anger, it's not sadness, it's not happiness. It's just emotion that I don't know how to express it. So, I hopped onto my board and I started skating a lot. I kept trying to do a bunch of different tricks. I wouldn't give up, I fell, I ate shit, I got back up and I kept going. There was people who are doing their daily jogs, looking at me eat shit and I didn't give a fuck and I kept going and I kept going. And there would be cars driving by, seeing me almost fall, but I kept going and it felt so good just to not care. Just to say fuck it, I'm not perfect. I'm not the most perfect skateboarder, I'm new at this. I'm just trying something new. So, I did eat shit right here. Pretty fucking badly, honestly. Like, let's zoom in on it. Like, if you look at it in person, it looks way worse, honestly. <coughs> and you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of old videos that I used to film when I was almost living by myself because nobody was ever home. And I felt so myself nobody was ever home i lived with my mom and her boyfriend and them two were always on vacation always going on road trips they were literally never home they would go to coachella music festivals anything you could think of that was dope and i was just home alone with my blunt i also had a penny board at the time i had a camera and this is legitimately what i would do and i was so happy and right now i feel so good you know, and it's all just getting out of your comfort zone and saying, fuck it. Like, I literally ate shit, you guys. Like, I have the biggest cut on my leg right now. And I feel amazing that I have this cut. Because I know that it, it took a lot for me to come out here. It really did. I'm so used to just kind of not being depressed, but just being so stuck in my mind, so stuck in my thoughts. Literally, the only thing restricting myself and holding myself back is myself. And I would do that. A few days ago, I was like, oh, I have nothing to do. You know, I don't have work today. Let me do my hair. I curled it. I did my makeup. I did an entire eyeshadow look. Oh, shit. Almost dropped the blunt. And I didn't end up going anywhere. A huge part of me just wanted to go out and about. I knew that I had nothing to do, but I just knew that I also wanted to do something. And I couldn't figure out what to do. And I ended up wasting that entire day, an entire brand new set of eyelashes. And I just stayed home and I didn't do anything. So I love this type of day where I'm not wearing face makeup. I am wearing eyebrows and eyelashes because you know, girls gotta feel confident somehow. And then I just throw on a t-shirt and grab my skateboard, throw on my dirtiest vans that I own, and I said, let's get it. You know, I ended up eating shit, and I said, oh, well, let's keep going, and I kept going. And that's what life is all about, is just satisfying yourself, you know? Like, I know that I don't know how to do no tricks yet, but the fact that I'm trying to do a new trick, that's satisfying myself, because I know that I'm trying something new i'm i'm expressing myself and i'm getting rid of this energy that i have built up inside of me and it feels amazing to be able to skateboard and listen to music and talk to you guys and smoke a blunt so shout out to every single person who supports the life being as fam because you guys are so amazing you guys are so dope and i absolutely adore you guys so fucking much like like if i didn't have youtube it would be so weird waking up and thinking like, what am I gonna do? Cause you guys know I don't have friends. <laughs> and it's such an amazing, comforting, comforting, comforting feeling to be able to wake up and instead of feeling alone like I once did, I could wake up and think I'm gonna go skateboarding and then I'm gonna have a smoke session with my beautiful best friends after. Like straight, you know, like that's so much fun. 
and I end up saving weed and I end up saving money because whenever I kick it with other people they ain't got weed or money so your girls gotta put in and it's like for sure I got you boo but at the same time I never know if those people are using me for my money and my bud so that's why I'm always so hesitant like like I don't know you know like like, how come you didn't fuck with me when I didn't have money or bud? How come you're only around right now that I have that? You know? But, enough of my rambling. I think that we shall turn up now. Guys, I have something in my eye and it hurts. This is let us see how my road shit go. How it go. Hitting on my phone, better let your bitch know. Yeah, nigga, you the bitch. I'm so fucking bullshit. They say I'm the man, but I've been no way. <coughs> a lot, but what? A lot. Hello, just want to blow. Yeah, a lot, a lot, fuck, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <coughs> I drink till I'm drunk, smoke till I'm high, pass along the hill, wake up in the sky, you can't tell me I ain't fly, I know I'm super fly, I know I'm super fly, the ladies love luxury, that's my day I'm fuck with me, out here with the moves, like I invented smooth, you can't tell me I ain't fly. Okie dokies everybody, so your girl's about to head on out because my blunt is almost out and we're, you already know we don't be smoking them roaches, even though we're currently smoking a roach. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I know it was pretty random, but if you guys liked it or if it was able to make your day a little bit brighter, you already know, to do boo, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, but most importantly you guys, please 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 do not forget to stay lit, stay up, and stay positive. I really really appreciate you guys, and I really 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 genuinely hope that you guys do stay lit, stay up, and stay positive. I mean it every single time I say that. So much love for me to you, you guys. Until next time, double dose.